From artificial lawns to resilient athletic fields, safe play surfaces or pet-friendly areas, our artificial turf is designed to look just like healthy, well-trimmed natural grass. X-Grass is made in the USA. Eco-friendly, 100% recyclable, durable, safe, and requires very little upkeep to stay looking beautiful. The grass is always greener on our side. Thank you for choosing X-Grass for your artificial turf project. To guide you through the installation of your X-Grass artificial turf, we have highlighted these 10 easy to follow instructions. Before you begin your project, gather all the tools you will need. Visit us at xgrass.com for a complete list. First, unload the truck and stage your materials. Please allow for plenty of room for heavy equipment to navigate. This is a true construction project, so be prepared. Next, clear and prepare your sub-base. All outdoor applications require preparation of an aggregate base to allow proper water drainage. The aggregate base is only as good as the sub-base beneath it. To ensure a proper sub-base, simply clear the area for your X-Grass turf, removing all organic materials such as grass, roots, and mulch. Any additional drainage considerations, such as slope or French drains, should be accounted for at this time. Once your sub-base is correctly prepared, install a nailer board. Measure around your perimeter for the length of the nailer board you will need. To install your nailer board on a concrete curb, drill and screw your board a half inch below the top of the concrete. For application with mulch edging and wooden or rubber borders, run a string line, drive 24 inch stakes into the ground and nail your board to the stakes. Next, lay a geotextile fabric over your entire sub base and place your crushed aggregate stone on top. To finish preparing your base, add a 4 inch layer of crushed aggregate in 2 inch lifts until achieving the desired shape and contour. Work the aggregate with a rake and use a plate compactor or 1.5 ton roller to compact your base. Now is the time to install a safety pad if your site requires it. Alternate the edge of your pad to create a stair-step pattern as you move across the base. This will allow for expansion and contraction of the pad without creating gaps. To lay pad around equipment, simply cut out the shape needed, lay your pad tightly around the equipment and use the excess pieces to fill in the empty space. The next step is to lay your turf. Unroll your X-Grass artificial turf and position it to completely cover the desired area. Once you are happy with the positioning, trim the selvage of the turf by cutting the first three stitch rows off each side. When seaming products that are mono, thatch, or A, B stitch, trim one piece of your turf so the outside stitch row is mono, or A, and trim the other piece so the outside stitch row is thatch, or B. Be sure the grain of the fibers lay in the same direction on each piece. When laying your X-Grass turf around equipment, slowly work the turf towards the obstruction. Cut the turf in a straight line to the edge, cut a star pattern around the equipment, and roll the turf into place. In hot and cold temperatures, turf will expand and contract, which makes proper seaming very important. Always double check your seams before applying glue, and remember to glue your secondary seams first. Once you feel confident that your seams are accurately aligned, spread apart the seam. Place seaming tape along the base where each seam will land. Then apply the glue in a consistent pattern and thickness with a 3 16 inch V-notch trowel. Every roll of turf has a directional grain. If the grain runs left to right, slowly ease the right side down first, then the left, checking the fit as you go. Next, trim your turf. Shape the perimeter of the turf using a loop pile cutter, utility blade, or sharp scissors. Remember, cutting too little is better than cutting too much. Once you are satisfied with the shape of your turf, nail the edge to the nailer board. For playground installations, place a nail every 3 to 4 inches, and for landscape installations, place a nail every 4 to 8 inches around the entire perimeter. When nailing the edge, hold fibers back to ensure they are not trapped under the nail head. For applications without a nailer board, simply drive a landscape nail directly into your base approximately 2 inches from the edge of your turf and every 4 to 8 inches around your perimeter. Finally, spread your infill and broom the fibers up. Utilize a drop spreader to ensure the proper distribution of infill. 
Use a stiff push broom and brush against the fibers to allow the infill to fall to the bottom of the turf and evenly spread. Power brooms are recommended. When infilling under equipment, pour out the amount needed and rake the infill into the fibers with your fingers until the infill is spread evenly and the fibers stand up. Congratulations, you have now completed your X-Grass artificial turf installation. Periodic brushing and top dressing are both recommended to maintain the natural look of your X-Grass artificial turf for many years to come. With X-Grass artificial turf, you can create beautiful landscapes, clean pet zones, and safe play areas that are easy to install and require very little maintenance. Is it real or is it X-Grass?